hi guys welcome back to my channel um, as you can see we've got a different setup today um, I've changed my beauty room around just because I didn't like how it looked at the back um, and I really wanted like a paint plain background so let me know if you guys prefer this um, and obviously if I'm doing like a chit chat get ready with me I'll have something more in the background but because we're doing like a full face of makeup I thought it would be best with no distractions like my perfumes at the back um, so yeah let's jump straight into the video we are going to be doing a special video today and I'm super excited about this um, we are going to be doing a collab with Lizzie Demetrio. If you guys haven't watched her, I highly suggest that you do. Um, we are going to be reviewing the Bare Lux palette. Just to talk, like a little, um, to let you guys know, I did um, do a look with this yesterday. I'm going to be doing this, um, the same look today. Um, but when I went on to edit the footage this morning, like... Um, it wasn't like focused, it was all blurry, so I'm having to refilm it just so if you guys are like you've swatched it or you, ha you have used it, I haven't, it's just I did film it yesterday and when I went to edit the footage it wasn't um, like focused. But yeah, this is the palette, this is Bare Looks by XX Revolution. Um, so yeah, we're going to jump straight into the video. Um, I know Lizzie, um, she's in Alex Kate's Patreon group. And um, we've also just been messaging like on Instagram um, and Lizzie is so lovely. Um, we have like a very similar taste in makeup. I think we both love a brown nude lip. So we're just going to jump straight into the video and enjoy some makeup together. So let's jump straight in. So as you guys can see, I've already um, done my eyebrows and I primed my lids. I've used a new eyeshadow primer today and this is the... Anastasia Beverly Hills. I got this in like a little set um, a while back when I bought some Anastasia um, products. I also got the brow gel in there and something else as well. But yeah, I thought I'd try this out, see how it is. I've lost my Too Faced one. I had it yesterday. Um, I was filming another video and today I just can't find it. But I've rearranged my beauty room this morning. So it'll be somewhere in here. I haven't brought it out or anything. So yeah, we're going to go jump straight into using the palette. And I'm going to use this big fluffy blending brush. Of course, it's the Morphe 441. I'm going to go into the shade. It, one thing, guys, it is in, like, the shade names are on these plastic sheets. And I find it so annoying. Like, I'll just get annoyed with them. But it is the shade neutral that I'm going in with. Which is, like, this pinky, pinky, like, pinky shade light pink. Uh, one thing I will say about this palette is that it is um, shimmer, a shimmer heavy palette. There's not a lot of mattes. So if you do prefer like a very heavy matte palette, this might not be a one for you. Um, but yeah, we'll jump straight into the lid and I'll give you guys like more of my thoughts. So I'm just jumping in with the colour neutral and just blending this um, just above my crease and through the crease as well, just to build up to the colour that I like. So let me know if you guys prefer this setup to my old one. I'm gonna. I just think, um, like, if I'm doing a chit chat, get ready with me, or um, like a more. So Lizzie has the most amazing. Like, if you love Revolution products, and or you're starting to get into makeup, and you don't know what Revolution products to buy, or you just need a few ideas because you want to spend on Revolution, Lizzie has the most amazing Revolution collection. Um, I'll link that in the description um, description bar below, but Lizzie is so lovely. Um, I'll link her collab in the description bar below as well. Lizzie is so lovely. Um, we've just been chatting really, like girly chat. And I think we'll be probably, um, if you guys like this video, we'll do definitely be doing some more collabs. I know we've spoken about one yesterday that we... Um, want to do together so I'm just placing now sorry so I'm placing the shade content which is a very deep purple which looks like this just on the inner corner and my outer corner Um, just I think I'm gonna do like a like a spotlight eye and just put a shimmer in the middle 
it is very pigmented guys like that's just from two bits i know it looks crazy but we'll get a nice look at the end it is very pigmented so i'm just blending this out and um, like the purple and the pink and um, in the crease where i place the purple just so i can get that diffused and i'm also kind of dragging the purple out in the corner as well just so it doesn't look like there's been no blending there I was so upset this morning guys when um, I went on to do the video because I was like editing, everything was fine and then I went off camera to do like the other half of my eye and I put my lashes on and uh, when I came, like when I was editing that it was just out of focus and I was like let me check because on the video at the side where I like you import the media on Adobe, um, Adobe the thing that I use to edit it it was completely fine. I was like, is this a laptop? So I was having a bit of a upset moment, but stuff happens, doesn't it? So I just thought, oh, I'll come and film this and we'll get this look done. Um, so that's how it's looking so far. I know it looks crazy, but I wanna apply the shimmer and then obviously do my other eye and then we'll come back in to deepen everything up. Promise it won't look crazy in the end. So then I'm going to go in with um, a shimmer. So I'm going to use the Essence Snow White brush to build this up. And I'm going to use the shade um, Endless. It is this beautiful like green shimmery colour. Hold on, I'll swatch this. As you guys can see, it looks like that. It is stunning and on the eye. I love it. I'm gonna use some MAC Fix Plus to um, make it pop a bit more. And then I'm going to go in with my finger just to bring it out a bit more. Guys, I absolutely love this shimmer. I mean, look. I don't know if that even, like, really... Should I go back into the shade Content, which is that, like, deep, purpley, red, the like, grape colour. And I'm just going to deepen up the edges. It's also been blending it out so we will have lost some colour. But I am excited to play with the other shades but also the other palettes that I got. So as you can see I've just built it up and I'm just going to blend it out with my, sorry, my Morphe 506 brush which is a small blending one. Seagulls. Sorry if you guys can hear the seagulls. Like I said, I live right next to the sea and the windows open just so I can let fresh air come in because this room gets really hot. Um, so sorry if you guys can hear that. So that's that built up and blended out. I will be blending it out even more as well. Um, but for now, I'm gonna go off camera Put my lashes on, do the other eye, and then I'll come back. So I'm back, so I've just put my lashes on and done the other eye. So we are really gonna get close and personal for my skin. We're going to do, um, we're going to use, to do, we're going to use the XX Revolution Second Skin Primer. I tried this out yesterday for obviously this video, that didn't work, and I really loved it. So I'm just gonna scoop this out. It's very thick and it does come with like a spoon, but I've lost the spoon. So it's just gonna have to do on the back of my hand and place this just across the skin. And bear in mind, I've got like quite dry skin, dry and oily combination. 
um, and this works really well for me so if you're going off like combination skin it works so I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation in the shade True Beige, Beige, True Beige in 130. So I'm just going to pump this onto the back of my hand. I'm just going to apply a tiny bit more to like the areas where I'm breaking out. So this is it with the foundation on. I'm going to go in with a product that it is something I've forgotten about, but again, I tried it yesterday and I really did enjoy it. It's the Kiko um, Nourishing Perfection Cream Compact Foundation. And it looks like this, that you open it up and obviously it's got like a protector to keep it fresh, a little mirror there. And this is what it looks like. I really enjoy it. And um, we're gonna go in with, my NYX stippling brush which looks like this and just apply it here it looks really crazy but it blends out so nice on the skin here so I'm going to go in for concealer with the collection 2000 concealer I really really recommend this I hadn't used it it was my draw and I hadn't used it and I'm so happy. Well, I'm annoyed with myself that I didn't use it sooner because I've seen a lot of people really rave about this. Um, I'm upset with myself that I didn't use it, but I'm happy that I like did purchase it. And, but as you can see, it looks a lot more like blended out the bronzer so far. I always feel like with the cream product, it looked really crazy at first because obviously it's just like everywhere but once you blend it out with your foundation I really really like it and I'm definitely going to pick up the Huda Tantor next I'm going to go in with my trusty MAC blend it in big fluffy brush I really need to find out the number to tell you guys I just keep forgetting and I'm going to go in with the MAC um, mineralized skin finish in the shade gold deposit I love this I've like really like used this as you can tell Um, I do love this bronzer so I'm just going to obviously go in with the areas I would normally bronze. I'm not contouring today just because I don't want it to be like too much. Um, I really want the centre to, um, I really want my face to pop with the foundation. Um, with the foundation. I really want my eyes to pop guys. Um, and obviously that won't happen if I've got so much going on with the rest of my face. So I'm going to go in with my Translucent Beauty Bakery um, powder and I'm just going to um, define out the bronze um, a bit more. Obviously my bronzer. So this is how it's looking and then I'm just going to dust this on the top half of the, sorry, I'm going to dust this over the parts where I get oily. Just So I'm just going to take this off now. I don't want it on too long. I just want it to really carve the bronzer out. So that is the powder placed onto my skin. I'm going to go in now with this really lovely product. I've been really getting into cream blushes. Um, and I purchased this a while back and I just never really dived into it until yesterday. It is the Revolution Glow Stick in the shade Rose. I'll place this on over the back of my hand so I can show you. Honestly, look how stunning that is. It's so nice. I really loved playing with this yesterday. And I'm going to go in with my um, MAC stippling brush to place this onto my cheeks. It gives off this really nice, like, cream, not creamy, like, satiny finish but if you guys see what I'm putting on over the top it really makes the colour stand out but it really just gives that nice rosé pop uh, so I really like it So 
So as you can see, this is how it's looking so far. That is the Rosé Blush by Revolution. It is the glow stick. I'll link it down below anyway so you can see. And then the next product I'm going to use is a like another blush to use on top. And it is the Milani blush in the Baked Powder Blush in Bella Rosa. And I'm going to go on the top of this with my Real Techniques Contour Brush. Like it looks like this. So just the smallest amount because it is super pigmented. As you guys will see in a second. But just look how nice that comes up on the skin. I'm going to go in with my highlighter now and this is the Revolution Rose Quartz Loose Highlighter. I loved this yesterday. Loved. Uh, I don't know if it's still available because I think I got it in sale. But I'll have a look. I think it might be or might be last year's like Christmas collection. But I know a lot of people will probably have it. So it is the Revolution Rose Quartz Loose Highlighter. And I'm just going to spray it with some MAC Flix Plus. Just to intensify it up. It doesn't need it. I just want that like big blown out highlighter. Just for this look. Because I feel like this look is a bit extra. So this is the highlighter on. As you can see it is popping. <laughs> um, I'm not going to go in with a lip liner today. I'm just going to go for a full throttle using the chocolate um lipsticks by revolution in the shade salted caramel it looks like this and then we're going to go in with like a really fun lip nikki if you're watching this it's glittery lips for you So this is solid caramel on my lips um, and then for my lip gloss I'm going to go in with the new Revolution, um, I think it's like a gloss bomb, I don't know it's a new Revolution lip uh, lip gloss and it is in the shade Luxuriant, Luxuriant. so I'm just going to place this on my lid, it looks like this. So that's how it applies. I'll do a swatch on the back of my hand actually so you guys can properly see. So that's how it looks on the back of my hand. It's really nice. It's got like a really nice soft shimmer which I really like. I don't like it to be like thick chunks of glitter that just is not a good look. So we're going to go in and quickly do my under eyes and then I'll give you guys my final thoughts so I'm going to go in with Morphe 431 which is like a small pencil brush in the shade neutral and also in content and I'm just going to blend this out under my eye so this is the eye so far So this is the finished look guys, um, this is a collab again with Lizzie, go and check out her channel, I really am excited to see her finished look and see what she's um, come up with. I really do like this palette, however I wish there was more matte, it is like again a very shimmer heavy palette. Do I think it's worth, how much is it actually? Do I think it's worth, I think it's £15? Right, so it is a £16 palette. Do I think it's worth it? I think the shimmers are beautiful and I don't want to say it's not worth it because I think it's beautiful. I think if you had another matte heavy palette and no shimmers, this would really complement the rest of them. I do think it's beautiful and I like how it's got like the deeper shimmers on one side and obviously the lighters so you can kind of go back and forth. I think it's worth the money if you have a very matte heavy palette this would complement it very well but not if you didn't have a matte heavy palette because you would really struggle to come up with looks Um, I really don't know what else I would really come up with apart from maybe this and maybe like blowing out because there is like a deep brown in there blowing that out um, or maybe just doing a shimmer like an all shimmer look so yeah, this is the final look, guys. Um, go and watch Lizzie's 
um, videos I would really appreciate it and if you guys would like to see any more collabs from us then let us know um, but have a lovely lovely rest of your evening or day whenever you're watching this and I'll see you guys in my next video bye